what was your very first spark of inspiration? Um, what was the first spark that helped you decide you wanted to make machinima slash commentate? Um, well, for machinima, obviously, it was red versus blue. Uh, that's pretty much it. Like, seeing some episodes of Red vs. Blue made me want to, you know, work that into school projects and stuff. It was kind of like, are we allowed to do this for a school project? And I guess the teachers sometimes allowed us to use it. And then for, for commentary and stuff, I, I didn't really get a spark of inspiration from anybody for doing commentary. I just pretty much started doing it because I realized that regular machinima is pretty much on its way out the door thanks to uh machinima and you know their channels and stuff like that because it's just not it's not their focus anymore like it used to be like two years ago so i i mean i i did do commentaries beforehand like i like i said i did stuff like on uh like Bomberman and random shitty games and stuff but uh you know just switching back to it i guess pretty much uh, bum, 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 bum. What else? What else? What else? Uh, uh, how did, how the fuck did you get 25k so quickly? I have no idea. I have no idea. You guys have been awesome in subscribing and you know liking videos, spreading my name around. I've seen comments like I I, I posted in my bulletin that somebody brought me up in a video. Um, you know, obviously it wasn't my video, but it was a video about how, uh, I guess a lot of commentators are kind of going the way of only wanting money and money and money and stuff, and somebody brought me up saying that, you know, I was a good commentator to go to and stuff, I appreciate that, uh, stuff like that, like, just, I guess, spreading me around like that, like a disease, it works, just, uh, throwing my name out there in videos that don't even involve me at all, <laughs> uh, are you continuing the kitty corner yes obviously i will continue kitty corner i just need to record a few more episodes there was one that i had finished before the holiday break but i didn't get it into machinima in time but i got like the other two the uh i think it was the rudolph one and uh there's the i carly one it might have been i don't know it was it was two of them that i did get finished and the, the third one i didn't get finished in time so only two of them went up so i'll probably finish the third one and send that in there's a couple of other ones that I gotta work on too. Um, ba, 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 let's see. Uh, whoa, another what games are you looking forward to this year? Uh, again, there's there's just so many, so many games. What's your favorite fighting game? I don't really play fighting games. That's a I like I like the look of them like you know Mortal Kombat and Street Fighter and uh, stuff like that like I like the look of them but I just I suck so bad that there's so there's no point in me getting into a fighting game because I I'm shit at fighting games and there's people that use like joysticks and stuff like that and they will completely fuck my ass and I would not like that to happen. Uh, but I do play, I guess you could technically call Power Stone. Could you call Power Stone a, uh, a fighting game? I mean, I really like Power Stone. And if there was a, if there was a remake of it, so, or if it was, like, you know, reinvented or whatever for the, for the consoles, uh, for the next-gen consoles or whatever, I would probably, um, well, I guess it's called current-gen consoles now. But if it was re remade or whatever, I'd probably get into that. And I actually, I have it on the Dreamcast, too. Maybe I'll do a playthrough of it or something real quick, because it is, like, a short game. What's the best way to get power nodes in Dead Space? I don't, I mean, they just kind of fell in there while you, uh, while you played the game. As you go along, you'll find these little containers, and they usually always have them. Hmm... Uh, let's see. I think by the end of the game, I had my my suit all the way upgraded. I had uh, the kin the kinetic thing. I had that like maybe half upgraded, something like that. Um, what else did I? I upgraded like maybe one or two guns all the way. Like I didn't. I don't know if you were supposed to get a shit ton of more uh, power nodes or whatever, but that's how much I got throughout the game 
in order to upgrade and all that. Um, do I have a girlfriend? No, I do not. If I did, I'd probably have her do some commentaries. If I did. <laughs> How do you get in Machinima? Um, I don't know, because they pretty much... It was like two years ago that they pretty much just sent me a random message on YouTube. Just imagine somebody randomly sending you a message on YouTube telling you that they have this amazing opportunity for you. Uh... At the time, it was just like, what? <laughs> I don't believe this. I don't believe this at all. But, I mean, that's just randomly what happened. I guess it was really, really early on when they didn't have that many subscribers. Now, I would imagine that they're probably not even looking into that many people's uh, channels. Probably once in a blue moon, they might go scouting or something. I don't know, but there's a shit ton of directors already. Um, if you're trying to get into the Machinima Network, I'd say... To go in through one of the alternate channels, one of the subdivision channels, like Realm or something like that. Uh, and then kind of work your way into the other channels. But, I mean, I, I honestly don't know what their process is now compared to what it was a few years ago. Um, how long have I been watching wrestling? Pretty much since I was since I was little, because my dad was watching it and, you know, I just grew up sitting there watching it with him and then I guess I got to the point where he, he I guess he didn't watch it anymore or whatever but since I still watched it he still ordered the pay-per-views and stuff like that so uh, I just I haven't really stopped watching it I don't know I probably won't either I mean I don't know if I'll ever grow out of it or whatever I don't really think you can grow out of it but I don't know some people have said like I grew out of watching that because it's so childish and fake and whatever. I don't know. I just, I keep watching it. <clears throat> well, why do you play different types of games? What kind of question is that? Why do you play different types of games? What, am I only, what, am I only supposed to play first-person shooters? Am I only supposed to play, like, role-playing games? Like, what do you mean? Why, why do I play different types of games? <laughs> like, because I like different types of games? <laughs> Oh, uh, what? Uh, what does your face look like? A butt. A butt. That's what it looks like. Uh, man, so many of the same questions. So many. Uh, do you play any sports games like EA Sports kinds? Not really. I mean, I played, um... I play the UFC games when they when they came out, but uh, they don't really keep my attention too long. Like I, the the newest one or whatever, I I was playing it, and uh, um, they had that weird thing where your stats go down, and I just kind of got tired of that. Like having to keep reworking up the same stat because it kept draining. So I was like, fuck that. <laughs> and I was done with the game. Um, what do you think will happen to the major game series in the future? Like Halo, Call of Duty, and have you ever played Shadow of Colossus? I haven't played Shadow of Colossus, so I was actually hoping to get that HD remake of it and maybe do a playthrough of that, because I never played it. I never played Shadow of Colossus. Uh, as for the other major game series, like Halo and Call of Duty, I could care less where they go. Because I'm honestly so burnt out of FPS games. Like, I don't know, I'm just not really into FPS games as much as I used to be. Because they're just, there's too many of them. Too many. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, I never see you on Justin TV. Please explain. Okay, so my Justin TV, for some of my earlier subscribers know that I used to stream there and stuff. Um, as you may or may not know, the HD PVR is not compatible with Justin TV's normal, like, uh, streaming player thing. So you have to do it the bootleg way, and you have to bring up your, um... You have to bring up your recorder or whatever on your computer, and then you have to basically screen, like screen capture that, and then you know you take the the screen capture like input, and that's what you put on JTV. It takes a lot of a lot of processing power to do that, uh, to you know do all that stuff, and then um, on top of that, 
you also need like a powerful internet connection in order to stream like HD and all that. Uh, I I constantly try to like we do have a new internet service now and it's a little bit better than what it was before. Actually, it's a lot a bit better. I don't know what I'm talking about, but it is it is a good bit better than what it was. But um, I don't think that my internet is strong enough to stream like the footage like that with the uh, the screen recorder I've tried I've tried multiple times but it always comes up with lag uh, I think you need a really really powerful internet connection and uh, th any anything higher than what I currently have now isn't available in our area which kinda sucks so I can't upgrade it e even further or else we probably would have um, let's see uh, Ba, 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 ba. Um, hmm. But I do hope I, I am hopeful that I will eventually be able to stream again. I just I don't know when. Ba, 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 ba. Uh, make a vlog like line line scene anners. You mean like like scene anners? Maybe I I don't like vlogs. I don't like making vlogs. That sucks. Hate vlogs. 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 Whatever they're called. Uh, da, 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 da. man, where in the world do you like tacos? Sure. Ah, <sighs> do you like Mexicans? <laughs> sure. Why not? <laughs> uh. What is the most fucked up moment in your gaming? history I don't really know I mean fucked up moment in gaming history hmm I'd have to think on that one because I don't really know fucked up moment in gaming history I don't really know fucked up moment fucked up moment fucked up moment I can I don't really know I'd have to like I don't even know <laughs> um Da, da, da. How do you do live commentary? Basically, I just set up my microphone and I sit here and I play the game because my TV is on my uh, it's on my my table here, and I just kind of count down three, two, one, and then I start playing. And then after I'm done, I sync it all up, and there you go, live commentary. It's genius, right? <laughs> Can you name a few games that you intend to do? I'm assuming playthrough wise. Uh, pretty much like a, a bunch of the big names. Maybe I'll mix in some retro games and stuff that I have here just sitting around that are old games that I had played a long time ago that I never really got rid of that would probably be cool to do a, a playthrough of. I do have a lot of the old Resident Evils. Maybe I'll do some of those. Uh, some other old games that I may do. Who knows? Uh, um... Oh, there's a question about my older videos and how my voice sounded really weird in my, my older videos. And it was basically because I had this program called, um, I had this program called Screaming Bee. And, uh, I don't know if I had the settings fucked up on it or what, or if it was supposed to be like that. But it always made me come out to sound like this robot, like, robotic creature. I don't know why I said it like that. Robot. <laughs> <laughs> like a robot and uh, I don't know I never really because I wasn't really that serious about any of that back then when I first started or whatever I just kind of ran with it I didn't really put in the time to to look for any alternative programs any other like recording programs or anything like that I just kind of left it be and I did like all my projects that I was doing at that time or I was doing at that time I did them all with that. I didn't really care, <laughs> even though it sounded really, really weird. But uh, some people liked that, like the the weird voice. So I ended up using like the uh, the deep voice for uh, for Chris Redfield in my my Resident Evil series. Just I don't know for the hell of it. Uh, but eventually, I I started looking more into it and getting more serious about it and looking into uh, better programs and stuff and. Even, like, it was funny that Audacity was there, like, the whole time. 